This camera is just a cheap little camera that I got for free when I bought some ink at Staples um, office supply store one time. You can see I've already started to open it up. Now I've used this camera for other videos before when I needed a camera it didn't matter if it got broke. You can see I modified over here. I put a plug on it and I actually use this battery pack here which is nickel metal um, batteries. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to take the infrared sensor off the front of the uh, the die for the uh, the image pickup. Manufacturers put an infrared blocker on the actual um, sensor and hopefully we'll show you that inside here. And if I take that off we should be able to uh, see the infrared from the vacuum cleaner a lot better. Anyway I started taking it apart already and then I thought hey I better film this. So anyway, let's continue on with the cheap camera modification and see what we can do. I've taken the screws out and I've already busted it open. And I'll show you how far I've gotten so far. I've still got wires attached here. So Here's what we have so far. You can see this is the SD card slot and this is the lens up here. And this is what we're interested in here. Probably the infrared um, filter is going to be attached right to the sensor itself. So we're going to have to pull out this lens assembly. And this will be the same for most cameras. Um, generally the filter will be just after the main lens or put right on the die and we'll find out what the case is on this in just a moment. So this is a right angled board to the main board here and you can see there's a couple screws here I need to pull out. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this out and then we'll get a better look at uh, what we can do to modify this. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm just going to start taking out screws and figuring out what I need to do here. Okay, I'm just seeing, it looks like this is just a piece of protective, like, you know, plastic. I don't see any properties at all that make it a lens, so it's really not needed. And here's the, here's the lens assembly here. Let me get out my macro camera and give you a close-up of it before I take it apart. So there's a shot of the lens. Now you can see these screws right here. There's one here and one here. And those are tension springs in between there. And rather than take this assembly apart, you know, I could take this off to get to the top of the die. I'm actually going to 
see if I can take it off from the back. That way I won't be changing the adjustment on this. Let's see if I can do that. Actually, this board just comes right out. Look at that. It's kind of nice. Let's put this aside. So this screw and this screw right up here look like if I take them out, this whole thing will come right out. This is a little microphone here and the two LEDs for, you know, illumination. And then this is like a tally light here. Let's, um, let's take these two screws off right here. Yeah, it's going to come right apart for us. Make note of the orientation before it falls off. The little lever goes up and down like that. Let's put it over here. Oh look. Is that our filter? I think it might be. Let's get a look at this die. So it's not on the die at all. That's a good thing, I think. Look at that. Is that it? Let's see if we can. Let me get a little screwdriver. I think this is it here. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it is. This is for the macro ones here. This little lever. It just moves this thing in and out ever so slightly. See? There we go. Just trying to see how it moves it out. That's out, and this is in. So it just moves it a slight bit. That's why I didn't want to take these springs off, because I think this is quite sensitive. See that red look? It's reddish in color. I think that is our infrared filter. This die on here doesn't look like it has anything on the top of it at all. There is a cover on there, but it just looks like pure glass to me. So I took the assembly apart a little bit and I'm wondering if the IR filter is here or it's sandwiched in this glass I'm trying to determine that right now I think that it's just um, glued to the back of the helmet I really do but I'm not 100% sure that reddish look is usually, you know, the infrared blocker filter. Okay, I'm working at this lens trying to get this filter off. I just wanted to show you this little ring thing. See that where I split it with a knife? I had to dig at it with a little exacto blade. But uh, that was holding in the infrared. You can see it's a square piece of glass here. <laughs> So I'm going to try to pop that out with my knife. I can't do it on camera because the camera lens is like right here. And I can't get in there with the camera in my way. But I'll be back after I try to dig it out of there. 
Okay, I just put my knife down there and I pull it out. There it is right there. This little piece of glass is the actual filter. It looks red on one side and blue on the other. Let me put a white piece of paper down so you can get a look at it. So there it is. It looks kind of blue, right? If you get it right in the right light, maybe you can see that magenta starting to come through there. See? Oh, it looks kind of ready magenta. That's the actual filter. So I can go ahead and assemble this lens back together. And it don't look like I hurt the lens any. And um, try out the camera. So there's a little spring and a little screw here on this side. There's supposed to be one on this side too. And then this lever right here is for the macro for the close-up lens. And of course when I was putting this spring and screw on, the, the screw popped off. And I spent a half hour looking for it on the floor. Couldn't find it anywhere. I even put a magnet on a stick and checked very carefully on my hands and knees with a flashlight. Never did find it. So then I came up with a different screw. And once you know the spring popped off, went that way. And again, I spent another half hour on my hands and knees with a magnet and a flashlight. Where did it go? So what I'm going to do is just stick this down with hot glue. I won't use the macro. I don't need it anyway. And, uh, but isn't that amazing how little screws can just disappear forever? Hot glue fixes all, thank goodness. I'll find it as soon as I put this back together, guaranteed. Okay, very good. I've managed to put the camera back together and I ended up with a few spare parts. I didn't put that back on because it broke. This was the little ring that held the uh, infrared sensor on, which is here. Little tiny thing right there. And a couple of screws and the switch for the uh, macro. So anyway, I think it's modified enough to go ahead and do the job. Now this is a very cheap camera, so I'm going to have to just do my best and try to catch the infrared laser on the vacuum cleaner. So let's go ahead and get going on that.